ready? Turn around, Marky. I have a new suit-up video for you today, this time featuring my character, Kokoro. This character was one that I bought as a mini partial from Kemono Copy at Anthro Northwest. Thankfully I had some wonderful friends who were able to pick her up for me because I had to cancel last minute and couldn't attend the convention. Since then, I created the rest of her bodysuit, her feet, and her new tail. And I am super duper happy with how she came out. She looks so cute and her body has this really neat silhouette to it. I wanted her to look kemono-inspired to match her beautiful kemono head, but I didn't want to exactly replicate the style that makes kemono suits so unique. So I think this little hybrid between my style and the kemono style worked really well here. I also altered my foot paw pattern to give her extra cool, big, clawed feet, and she even has indoor finished feet bottoms and cute little dew claws. I still have a really good amount of movement in her, and I love the way that her hip wings bounce around when I move. She's so cute! Thank you for watching! Have a good one! Yeah. <sighs> well, this is a dilemma. I did not, uh, I did not think this one through. In retrospect, I probably should cut holes in the back of this for my wings, or at least insert my wings through it before I put it on. Because she looks really cute with it and I want her to wear it! <laughs> it's too cute! I want it! Well, crap. That's a problem, isn't it? Okay. I was really hoping to get her to wear that, but I don't think that's going to be possible unless I cut the back. I'll probably have to modify it. That's okay. That's, that's fine. We'll just, uh, we'll just do this. You still going? Yeah, you're still going. You sure shit don't feel like you're going. Okay. Whatevs. We're fine. Pause and head. Oh, important. Hello, and I hope you're well. Today I'm going to be doing a suit up and assembly for this fursuit commission that I did. This character has several parts that zip off of the body for both easier transport, easier cleaning, and so that the client can actually partial with it. The arms zip onto the body and the wings slide through two little holes that are in the back of the torso, as well as the tail having this part that it zips onto the bum directly, and then there's this nice little sleeve that pulls over top of it and hides the seam. The feet also zip onto the body, each one is marked for left and right accordingly, and once they are all zipped onto this body, you can see that it's perfectly ready to go. Kind of neat seeing it all together like that, isn't it? And now, we get ready to actually put the thing on. But you know what? You can't just put a fursuit on with normal human clothes. You need to go into your under armor. Protect that inside from the sweat and keep it clean and smelling fresh. Once you put it on, it's basically like putting on a pair of pants. Slip into the shoes inside, put the arm straps for the wings over your shoulders, arms through the armholes, zip up the center, and then just put on the paws, same as you'd put on any kind of gloves. I personally prefer to do the head first and then the hands so that I can be able to adjust anything if needed. 
putting on my non-dominant hand first and then using my dominant hand and the other to kind of snug the other one on. It's a little bit tricky sometimes, but once you get the hang of it, ta-da, there it is. Look at that beautiful fluffy suit. This character's name is Bean and they were done for Cottage Duchy, whom I will tag below this video. This character was a lot of fun to make and I tried a lot of new things with their build to try and push my abilities as an artist even further than they already are. I'm really proud of the overall shape of the digi, the cleanness of the feet, as well as that absolutely incredible head. This is honestly the best head I've ever made and I couldn't be happier. I hope Bean loves their new home and makes lots of fantastic memories with all their new friends over in the Czech Republic. Gonna be super duper fun! Thank you so much for sitting through this awesome little two minute video. Doodles! Okay, I'm gonna put on my full suit. I'm gonna put the first half on. Oh my god, it feels like wearing a cloud. I got it. Yes! Oh my god. Okay, we're good. Okay, it's fine. Oh my god. <laughs> Alrighty, Rudy, let's go ahead and equip a fluffy furry booty. Now, I have my Under Armour and my Balaclava on to keep the sweat out of my beautiful bodysuit and protect it for many years to come. And you'll notice that she's currently missing her feet and her tail. I'm going to remedy that because her tail and feet are actually zip-on parts. This is something new that I tried with her suit and I absolutely love how it looks because it completes that seamless connection and it still enables everything to be machine washable. Once the belt gets threaded through the bodysuit, I simply attach the zipper on all points and then zip it all the way up, brush any fluff out, and then as you can see, it has a very secure connection to the body. And because of the way it's connected, you almost can't tell the seam is there. It just looks like a fluffy little ridge where a seam was. And now that her humongalagongus tail is equipped, it's time for me to attach those fantastic little feeties. I'm gonna just place her bodysuit here, and you'll see that both of her matching legs have zippers on them, as well as her ginormous feet. I simply find the matching parts on the zippers, line them up, and zip them directly onto the bodysuit, which essentially makes this whole thing kind of like a big old pair of pants that I put on. And with her zip-on parts, everything stays exactly where it's supposed to, I don't have any weird bunching or scrunching, and like I said earlier, it makes her machine washable, which is fantastic for someone who hates washing fursuits because they take bloody forever to wash. But once everything's in position, I simply step into the leggies and find the shoes inside the feet. It It's literally like putting on an oversized pair of pants. If you have bad balance, you know, it can be a little tricky trying to find the little channels in there. But once you get them on, you just shimmy shimmy everything in place. Secure the tail with a belt. I do this because her tail is extra big and I don't want it to sag my bodysuit. I equip her wing straps to hold them in position, slip my arms through, and then this little pillow piece right here is done to both give her more of a feminine shape and to erase my individual boobies because I do not like the shape of boobs on my character suits. So I erase them instead with just a singular pillow and it also exaggerates my body shapes and makes her look more dynamic as a character. Once that's all equipped, I can place her head on and then get working on my paws. The way I make my sleeves, I just kind of fit the paw over my hand and then wriggle my arm back and forth until eventually the paw settles into position and the sleeve rolls over top of it nice and cleanly. Most of the time I can get it myself, but it was hot today, so. <laughs> There you go! Kashika suit up! So I got these paws at Stratosphere, but they don't match Ding. So let's make new ones. Let's look for some scrap fur that might match. 
and get my pattern. Here's the fur. Lost the footage but here's the before and boom almost finished and 3, 2, 1, ta-da. They need a little touch-ups but two days later and I have one paw done. The time that it takes to make for suit parts is definitely crazy but I love it. Thanks for watching. It would appear that I have potentially been too silly and or goofy for my own good. Anna, hurry up! What? I'm ready. Do you or do you not feel bonita? I feel bonita. <laughs> Wonderful, because you look bonita! The hose goes the Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? <laughs>alignment chart lawful good the only right way to do it to be honest neutral good chaotic good 
How do you even- Lawful neutral. True neutral. Chaotic neutral. Lawful evil. Oh, come on. Partialing isn't that bad. Neutral evil. The Italian fursuit paw. And chaotic evil. How do you even do that? That just looks uncomfy. There is a secret tenth option, which is just a fist. I don't know what it looks like, but- behind my back cause the bitch knew better than to let me hear
Talk behind my back cause the bitch knew better than to let me hear
and I got some bad grades. I was in love with my tutor. She makes me look like a treasure man. Most of you like me, I just met. I don't give a fuck who talk behind my back Cause the bitch knew better than to let me hear behind my back cause the bitch knew better than to let me hear
Oh. Does that look like it's on right? Mm -hmm. So can you see? Yep, I can see out the eyes. It's pretty good actually. I can see a lot. Like, I have a tiny blind spot. It's like really small. So where's the air for you to breathe? The mouth. And the, the eyes. <laughs> so you can see my mouth. Yeah, which is one. Oh, hang on. I don't think it doesn't matter. Oops. Thank you. Don't worry about the tail. Oh, so the tail is you'd wear a belt. Yeah, you wear a belt. Okay. I just didn't wear a pants for it. <laughs> Absolutely perfect, like copy of your character. Yeah, isn't it? I feel like her style suited. It makes you taller. Oh yeah, she's like really tall. It is kind of hard to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how they do it on like hot days. They Ooh. have a real rough one. The um, hands are beautiful. Like the, the claws, the claws are pretty really good. I have to go, I'll have to go to a, a buy a brush for it, I don't mm. have a brush. I need to go look in the mirror. I <laughs> What's that? I can't open this one. Oh my god. There's another doggy in the house. What the heck? Hey, Nico. <laughs> He's like, what is that? <laughs> He's so spooky. Oh, mommy, what is she doing? Oh, oh you're so cute. <laughs> oh my god. It looks even better in person. It's no, it's crazy. The quality is amazing. I don't know if I move the ears around. It's really hard to breathe. <laughs> I can hear you heavily breathing in there. <laughs> Oh, 
how, 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 give a fuck who talk behind my back cause the bitch knew better than to let me hear. Talk behind my back cause the bitch knew better than to let me hear
Who talk behind my back? Cause the bitch knew better than to let me hear.
Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? <laughs> activity to do with a friend. Y'all should come over and help. Seriously. Oh, wait. Okay. There's metal. There's metal in Ooh, there. You see it? There it is. There it is, folks. Yeah, guys, but I'm planting this stuff in here, obviously. Here we go. It's glued in there, too. Mm, well, I already showed how you can see it in the front. Oh, I'm man. I know, right? Here, I'll help you out there. Here, I'm gonna take my finger away for a second. Yeah, let me... He's hand... already digging into my skin. And let's, uh, let's be tender with this. I mean, not the base. Who the fuck cares? And guys, seriously, this is really sharp. Like, this, you can see right here, even in comparison to the scissors, that is ridiculously sharp, and that can seriously injure somebody. So please, this is, this is not even a joke. Like, this is... There we go. Mm -hmm. So just remember, if you're on fire, stop, drop, and roll. One more time. Say it with me now. Stop, stop, drop, and roll. Do that. Do it like a pro. Do that. Yep. Wow, the cat is very cute. I like the cat. Do you like the cat? Did it kill it? Why do you do this? I'm very angry. You are a greedy person. Because it will kill us. But he doesn't seem like a bad guy. Kuchi, 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 kuchi. <笑>看爪爪，来来来来来，给你，一，八，一，八，呀，来来来来来，摸摸你。What's up, babes? We got a quick selfie with everybody. 
Cults are kind of crazy, bro. I don't join them. I just whatever the fuck I want. Don't say it, 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 don't say it. wants bamboo here come the airplane oh man At first it was, but then I got banned. For age-related reasons, I was 21 at the time, so it didn't really matter. It was an easy fix once TikTok finally responded after two months of ghosting me. Then I got banned the second time. And this was from breaking community guidelines on a video that definitely did not break community guidelines. And they told me they would permanently ban me, and I couldn't fix it no matter how much I tried. They ended up ghosting me. And I tried for weeks, but I just, I couldn't get it back. I completely lost all motivation. And then I posted this video a few weeks later. But then I really started going viral after a couple weeks of posting my April Fool's joke. And a lot of people tried to find me and were really disappointed when they found out I was banned. A lot of people thought that I actually did quit because there was so much misinformation and the video was cropped, so a lot of people just assumed that I quit. I created TikTok in 2019 with the main goal to make people smile. That's all I wanted. At the time I was watching Jacksepticeye, he spread PMA, which was positive mental attitude, and that honestly really inspired me to spread that. I wanted to be someone that people could look up to and feel inspired or just feel at home not necessarily that I wanted to be famous, I just wanted to make people smile and make them happy. Making people happy makes me happy. Making people smile makes me smile. And even though it's taboo to be a 22-year-old furry, it still made me happy. And it made people smile. Even if it was cringy and people were laughing at me, it made people smile and that made me smile. After I quit, people just started spamming me with messages, begging me to come back. They were all disappointed, they were saying that I inspired them, and that they were just so upset when I left. I'm a stranger, online, and so many people still reached out to me with encouraging messages, asking me to come back. It meant a lot, and at the time, it was really a punch in the gut, every single time I saw it. It's honestly a hole in my heart that I just really can't fill. I made so many people upset and disappointed, 
and that makes me feel upset and disappointed. I read every message you guys send me, and I know you miss me. I miss you guys too. All the hateful and unalive messages and comments were really easily drowned out by all the love and the support and the positivity by amazing people. Sorry, part two up now. How was that? Great. <laughs> in the early 2000s, there was a revolution going on in fursuit making. But there was one artist blazing a trail on their own. Carzel wasn't like the other costume makers building brightly colored neon dogs. Instead, they faced obstacles going out on their own to build costumes that looked impossibly real. Realistic fursuits are a style of cosplay to ask what would a fantasy creature really look like? These costumes focus on realism and are jam-packed full of details that help bring their character alive. Carzel faced many challenges to create such realistic costumes. For example, learning to sculpt is hard, but it allows you to build a base to build everything off of. From there, layers of fur are attached and then glued on before everything is airbrushed to give it its final marking. With years of hard work and dedication, Carzel was able to master their setbacks and create some truly wonderful pieces of art. Their studio, Clockwork Creatures, is regarded as one of the best for creating realistic fursuits. They're so successful because of their dedication and their willingness to go out on their own. Their fursuits help define a style while simultaneously pushing the boundaries for realism and costuming. This is how it begins. The birth of fairies. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so weird to see this person here pulls their tail out first. Cute. Wow. That color, I love it. Commit? There's like a secret hole. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, nice bow. I think I'm just gonna pull the head out. Oh, it's smaller than I thought. Whoa! Oh wow! Oh my gosh! <gasps> That's so cool. Wow. She's so pretty. Paws. They're so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> you can't put the other one on when you're no. wearing one. <laughs> oh, that's oh, that's just sweet. That's my candy. Can oh, I have cool. those? And little stickers from Ukraine. That's awesome. Oh, hang on, there's this. Things in the paws. <gasps> That's her eyelids. She slays. Okay. Yeah, she's got this one. Should I shove it on? Yeah. <laughs> she needs a brush. <laughs> 